Wait, this is so fun. Hi guys, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. I have such a fun video today. First fun note though, I got a new camera. Can you tell? Do you like it? This is my first time using it, so I don't know if I even like it, but this is our trial run. I used to have like the screen where I could see myself on top of the camera, but now it's on the side. So if I'm looking to the side a little bit, I have to get used to it. Anyway, into today's video, I'm so excited because if you saw from the title, <laughs> it's heavy. We're gonna be choosing my November TBR blindly i was tagged in a tiktok actually let me see if i can find the original tiktok so that i could give creds and someone tagged me and was like you should do this her caption was book buying ban until i read my physical tbr she covered all of her books with brown wrapping paper and she numbered all of them she picked like numbers out of a little container and that was how she chose what she was going to read next i have all these on the top we're going to ignore these these are for other videos and stuff but just like this top row i put all of my books up there that i need to read still i'm going to cover them with brown wrapping paper I'm gonna number them and instead of picking out of a jar i'm gonna go on google and just random number picker one through however many books there are and we're gonna choose my tbr that way a better way to choose a more fun we're gonna switch it up this month i do have i think it's four five six i have seven books that i need to read filming two different videos that are reading vlogs and there's four for one and three for another so that's seven already that i have for this month might not be the best month to do this but it's fine i'm gonna choose maybe like let's say like seven more books let's double it and it's a fun surprise for both of us okay we're just doing this for fun i also want to say this is like a little random random but like not random my mom sounds like my mom is sponsoring my video she's not sponsoring it but she has her own business on etsy it's called my lolly flops and i'm gonna link her down below because she makes like custom baby clothes if you have any like siblings or you know anyone that's pregnant or gonna have a baby or you have any cousins or something and you want to get them fun clothes that are custom with like their name on it or like little flowers or something for the holidays that are coming up i highly recommend my mother shop because it's really cute and i just realized like i never shouted her out on my channel before but i feel like maybe some of you have or know of or family with a baby or someone that has been, whatever it is check her out shameless plug for my mom she just got like her christmas stuff so i was I just thought about it and I was like, well, let me just tell maybe someone on here knows someone with a baby or has a sister or something or brother doesn't matter Okay, back into the video The one problem with this video is that I'm probably the world's worst rapper Like the girl in the tiktok that I saw this original video from was really good at wrapping them like hers looked really good So i'm a little nervous about the wrapping skills. I'm gonna try to do my best Here's my brown paper. I was gonna get a fun paper to wrap them with but then I was like you won't be able to see the numbers so we're going with the brown. If you get a Christmas gift for me, like when I give Christmas gifts for like my mom or my brother, it's literally wrapped like a child wrapped it. Like it's just, I don't know why. I just, it's a skill that I don't have. Again, ignore all these books. These are for different videos I want to film or just books that I just, I just, we're not, we're not putting on the TBR. I have... 27 books on the floor right here. Literally just ignore them. I'm gonna turn this around so you can't even see their faces. I'm like low-key scared because I like to know what my TBR is gonna be. Like I pick my TBR obviously every month. I'm a little nervous. First one, Secret History. I said I was gonna get to it this month and I never did. We have They Never Learned. I actually started this book but I never ended up finishing it. So I wouldn't be mad getting this one. It's like a mystery, fiction mystery. I don't know. Kiss Quotient. Been on my TBR for literally so long. I need to get to that. I low-key kind of hope I get that one. This one, we can't talk about this. This has literally been on my TBR probably over a year at this point like if you remember the video i filmed like saying i want to read this book and i just bought it yeah the problem with forever by jennifer l armandrout way too long this has been in my tbr the two of us taylor torres it's still like a summer read but i wouldn't be mad reading this i almost started it over the summer and i never ended up reading it so i kind of low-key i feel like it'd be fun i know it's fall but like whatever the seller by natasha preston i'm pretty sure it's a mystery no it's a thriller about a girl getting kidnapped so that should be Kind of scary. Why are you here? I also got this sent by Bestie Julia. I think this is a romance. I think it's also a series. I like the cover of this. And then I just bought this. Tell me lies. I've seen so many people talking about this book because there's a Hulu show of it. But I've also heard like not good things about it, but I was so intrigued. And then my stepsister asked me if I was watching it. And I was like, no, but that sounds really familiar. And I was like, wait, it's a book. I've got to read it first. So I really hope that we get this picked. Or this is chosen. A Taste of Poison. This is the last book in the Entangled with Faye series. If you watched my blind book, Blind date with a book. 
but I did with books video and got the second one in the series and I absolutely loved it. I just read the third one. My, what I read in October will be out after this video. So stay tuned for that. We're doing the TBR before that. I just really want to pick out my books so I can start reading them because October's almost over and I don't have a book that I want to read next. So I actually just got this. The author sent this to me, Kels and Denise Stone, Water Under the Bridge. I love the cover of this. The cover is just so cute. I'm pretty sure this is just a romance. So I'm very excited. I need romance books. I hope we get a lot of romance this month. The Dead Romantics has been on my TBR for so long. Vow of Thieves. I haven't read this one yet. I read the first one a few months ago. Not my favorite fantasy, but like I didn't hate it. So I wouldn't be mad getting this. I just don't really like feel the need to read this book, but I would I would like to see how it ends, you know? I was gonna read this last month, but I did it. Boys of Tommen. Tommen. This is the first one in the little duology, I think it is. Binding 13. Heard nothing but good things about this. I almost started it, but I was like, oh, I don't think I can get through this right now. It's a really thick book and the words are tiny, but everyone that's talked about this has given it five stars. Let's pray this one gets chosen. Then we have X Hex, Love on the Brain. I've been talking about these for so long. These were my book of the month books a few months ago and I still haven't read them. I don't know why. I need to, I need to read them. Part of your world. I almost started this too last month. I don't know what was happening. I was starting like a bunch of books and I'm like not reading them, but I really want to read this too. I've heard good things about this book. This is Rebel Air by Jane Diamond. I think this is like a bad boy trope. Look at the cover. Yeah. Then we have The Devil Wears Black. I bought this a while ago. I don't really see too many people talking about it. What I have seen, they didn't like love it. I liked the cover. I thought the story was kind of cool. Then we have Throttle, the first in the Dirty Air series by Lauren Asher. I've heard good things about this series, but I'm not like, I don't love grumpy tropes. I mean, I do if I'm in the mood for it. It's like, maybe. I think I need to read this series eventually. You were there too. bought this so long ago. And I just still haven't read it. Then we have The One by John Mars. I haven't heard too much about this, but it seems very interesting. Then we have Meet Cute. I've had this on my TV for a while too. Honestly, I look kind of want to read this. I need just like cute rom-coms. This is what I think this is. I don't know if it's a rom-com. It's giving rom-com vibes. And then we have the flat share. My friend Lily has been absolutely begging me to read this because it's like one of her faves and it's been on this cart for so long. This is for Lily and then I'm hoping that this gets chosen for you. And also if these get chosen for my TBR, I'm going to try my best to read them. And this is going to be like TBR that like I kind of have to read because I did this video. So like I need to read at least majority of them because I have the other ones for the videos, but like these I need to get to. Then we have Ghosted by J.M. Darhauer. I think this is a second chance romance, which I love. So I low-key hope I get this one. Marriage for One by Ella Mays. I heard good things about this. I almost started this on my Kindle a while ago. I think it's Kindle Unlimited. The cover, yeah, I heard good things though. So Daisy Jones and the Six. I don't hope that I get this, but I think it's about time that I do. You know, it's gotta happen. And then this, Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I've had this on my shelf, I wanna say over a year now. I've almost went to read it for a while. I just, it's either for some people underwhelming or it's so good. Like there's like no really in between that I hear. It's either just like boring to some people, but then it's like some people's favorite book of all time. It's one of those. And I always get scared with that. Cause I'm like, which end am I gonna fall on? And I get nervous that it's gonna be boring for me. But you never know, okay? You just never know. Those are all of our options for this month. I'm nervous. Are you nervous? You're probably not nervous. You're probably excited to see what I get. I'm nervous because I like choosing my TBR, like I said. Okay. I've also become a matcha girl low key. I went to low key, high key. I haven't gone to Starbucks or Dunkin' or anything in over a week. So when I was in Florida, all I was getting was matchas and I came home and my stepsister sent me like the matcha powder that she uses and it's all I've been drinking. It's so good. It's like a sweetened one. So I literally just add like an unsweetened milk and I froth it and I put some ice in it. And it's delicious. This is my second one of the day. Matchas have been hitting. Why am I nervous? I don't know how to wrap so you guys can watch and laugh. Honestly, I won't take offense if you make fun of how I rap things. This is the part that gets me. Like, I don't know where I go from here. Like, I closed it, but like, now I have to do the sides. And I know I make the triangle. Ugh, I don't know. That took a really long time. I literally don't know how to wrap, so I just, like, I don't. But if you put them all sideways, I think it'll be fine, because the numbers will be on the side. I'm gonna do the rest. This was, like, really difficult.
wrapping. I have somehow no wrapping paper left and one book left, which is the XX. So this is gonna be the last one. It's not gonna be a surprise. I don't know how I underestimated underestimated that. I actually also like low-key figured out how to wrap them. Like I didn't do a bad job. I stepped up my game. I'm gonna be really good this Christmas. Let's number. I had to take one out because I might include it in another video. So I took that out. So technically we have 26 now. So the X hex is gonna be the 26th. Are you guys nervous like me? Cause I'm really nervous. Pick random number one through 26. I already did the first one. The first one is 12. <laughs> I feel like it's Christmas. Oh my god. I'm really dramatic. It's just a book. Like, uh, you guys can look at it first. All this hard work. I just wrapped all of these for literally like an hour. And now I'm just ripping them up. Okay. What is it? No. <gasps> no. This would be the first one that I choose. Okay. Oh. Ugh. Generate. 23. I think that's on the other side. You guys want to look at it first again? Hopefully I won't like hold it up upside down. What is it? Bruh. I've been holding this off for so long. All right. I'll read it. This Devil Wears Black. Or O for two because I didn't want to read these two. Not looking good. There's a few that I really want to read and I really hope I get it. All right, let's generate. Six. Six is feeling lucky. So I'm praying that we get Tell Me Lies. Like that's the one that I want to read this one. I'm very intrigued by it. What is this one? What is it? Oh, no way. <laughs> this video is not on my side, but it's on Lily's side. So this is for you, Lily. I will read this this month. Hopefully. I'm 0 for 3. Four more. I'm getting nervous. 20. Okay, here we go. No hardcovers. Very sad about that because I think I wanted to read The Love on the Brain this month, but it's not happening, clearly. Okay. <sighs> Guys, <laughs> I'm nervous. What is it? I keep showing you- No! <laughs> These are all books I don't want to read! This is gonna be a, a struggle month. You were there too. I've held this off for months now. Like, literal months. Two more. Four. Guys, I swear. <sighs> what is it? Wait. Wait. Does it go this way? Oh! Okay, I wanted to read this. This one was the one that was sent to me by the two authors, and I'm really excited about this one. Okay, I am one, two, three, four. Four and one. 18. I'm making such a mess. I can't believe that I did all of this just to rip it open. That's like Christmas. You know, you, like you spend your time wrapping and then like two seconds, everything's open. All right. What is it? Ooh, this one feels thick. I feel like this is the front. Is it upside down? Yep. No. This is literally karma, actually. For me, having these books on my TBR car and saying every month, I'm going to read this book and never reading it. Literally karma. So I'm angry. 11. We didn't get 1 through 10. I'm so surprised. <gasps> Bruh. <laughs> it's the secret history. <laughs> this is gonna be a real crazy month. Should we do one more for fun? Let's do one more for fun. 8. Why not? <gasps> no way! Guys, I'm, I'm including this. We're gonna put an extra book on this month. I'm just gonna have to really set my game up and read a, a ton. I can't believe this was the one. It could have been the next one. <sighs> I cannot believe this is the last one that got chosen. We have all these wrapped. I low-key might keep them wrapped just for like funsies. This was fun to do. The outcome for me wasn't really fun because now I have a bunch of books that I was literally never going to pick up. At least not in the future. The near future. Here's my TBR. Again, I have seven books that I'm reading for two other videos. But I have other videos planned that are going to be really fun. Someone will include these books. So I'm going to try to read them. Because all the ones that I really wanted to read didn't get picked. But you know what? I have to get through these in order to get more books and to get to those like it's just it has to happen and i think this video was telling me that it's gonna happen now let's go over what i have daisy jones and the six the devil wears black the flat chair you were there too water under the bridge the one i'll say i recommend you guys doing this but maybe cover up books i don't know it's like there's two sides like this definitely helped me because i needed to get to these books but also like why would i cover books that like i don't want to read but then again it circles back to because i have to and they've been on this cart for so long it's kind of like a karma thing for myself because i neglect these books so now they're like in my face telling me i have to read them honestly i kind of recommend doing this maybe for anyone that wants to like switch up choosing their tbr unless you have like a set tbr just do this for fun hope you guys enjoyed i hope this was entertaining for you this is gonna be a interesting month of reading stay tuned for my 
my what I read in October coming in a few days. Yeah, thank you for watching. Now I have to clean up this mess. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe I'll do this again if you guys like it. It's definitely forcing me to read books that I wasn't gonna read, which is good for me. I needed it. As much as I didn't want to read them, I like I need to. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you. Oh, also, let me know if you've read any of these books. I know a bunch of you probably read like Daisy Jones, Secret History maybe, but yeah, okay. I will see you hopefully in the next one. <laughs> Goodbye.